stay updated on the latest issuances and announcements and go digital with your Transactions to Securities and Exchange Commission o SEC. Para makatanggap ng opisyal na komunikasyon mula sa SEC through text or email, magtalaga at ipasa ang contact information such as official and alternate email addresses and mobile phone numbers ng inyong korporasyon o partnership alinsunod sa SEC Memorandum Circular No. 28 Series of 2020. Obligasyon ng mga sumusunod na tiyaking makakapagpasa ang kumpanya ng kanyang MC28 report. Corporate Secretary for Ordinary Stock and Non-Stock Corporations Resident Agent for Foreign Corporations Person in Charge with the Administration and Management of the Corporation for Corporation Soul Managing Partners for Partnerships And Other Individuals or Their Authorized Representatives Siguraduin tama ang mga impormasyong ilalagay sa inyong MC28 report at kailangang maipasa ito sa tamang oras para maiwasang mamulta ng 10,000 pesos. Ngunit paano kung nakapag-submit ka ng MC28 report pero gusto mong baguhin o i-update ang contact information na nakasaad sa una mong form? In this video, learn how to amend your MC28 report through Annex G or Notice to Change Email Address or cellular phone number. Kailangan mo itong submit sa loob ng limang araw kung kailan ito binago. Step 1. Download the necessary requirements for MC28 amendment by visiting the MC28 submission portal at abs010.sec.gov.ph. Two documents are required to amend your contact information. 1. Annex G of the MC28 report where you can update your contact information and 2. Secretary Certificate of No Intracorporate Dispute certifying that no action or proceeding has been filed or is pending before any court involving an intracorporate dispute against the directors or officers of the corporation. Under the blue tab titled Amendment, i-click ang mga form na nasa ibaba nito para ma-download ang forms. Step 2. Open the downloaded form on your computer at ibigay ang mga hinihinging impormasyon tulad ng corporate name at SEC registration number. Dapat pareho ang mga ito sa nakalagay sa inyong Certificate of Incorporation. On the form, indicate the old email address or contact number that will be replaced and provide the updated contact information. Tick the appropriate box for the new contact information, whether official or alternate. The updated contact information must be valid and well-maintained to ensure smooth transactions and communications between the corporation and the SEC. Step 3. Ang Annex G form ay halos magkapareho lamang sa Annex D form na ginagamit sa unang submission ng MC28. May dalawang paragraphs na pwedeng pagpilian ang korporasyon. Authorization paragraph ang dapat gamitin kung ang authorized representative ang pipirma ng form. Samantalang a Certificate of Authorization paragraph naman ang gagamitin kung ang Corporate Secretary ang pipirma. Select the paragraph of your choice and erase the one that's not applicable to you. Tandaan, kung ang Authorized Representative ang magiging signatory ng MC28 form, kailangan mag-attach ng hiwalay na Notarized Secretary Certificate kung saan nakasaad na ang nasabing signatory ay otorizadong mag-submit ng MC28 form para sa korporasyon. Samantala, kung ang corporate secretary naman ang magiging signatory ng form, hindi na kailangan ng additional attachment. Hindi na rin ito kailangan pang ipanotaryong. Once all the information on Annex G is filled out, print the form and have it signed and notarized if applicable. Tandaan na kailangan ipanotaryo ang secretary certificate na naka-attach sa MC28 form kung authorized representative ang pipirma sa inyong MC28. Step 4. Open the downloaded copy of the Secretary Certificate of No Intracorporate Dispute and fill in the required information. 1. Corporate Secretary's Name and Address and 2. Company's Principal Office Address This document must be completed and signed by the Corporate Secretary of the Corporation before it is notarized. Step 5. Iska ng dokumento na napirmahan na at kung kinakailangan, nanotaryohan. Siguraduhin mababasa ng maayos ang scanned copy at saka isave ito as PDF. Step 6. 
pumunta muli sa app010.sec.gov.ph to file your MC28 amendment. Click the blue tab titled Amendment and search for your corporation using your complete corporate name or your SEC registration number. Click Search. Sa puntong ito, lalabas ang una mong MC28 submission at ang petsa kung kailan mo ito na-submit. Click the blue button titled Apply for Amendment. Step 7. Fill out the same set of details from your first submission, the authorized filer's name, and the name and address of the corporation. Ang pinagkaiba lamang sa form na ito ay dapat ang bagong contact information na ang nakalagay. Pagkatapos, i-upload ang scanned copy ng Annex G form at ang signed and notarized Secretary Certificate of No Intra-Corporate Dispute. Dapat pareho ang mga detaling ipinasok sa MC28 Submission Portal sa kung ano man ang nakalagay sa mismong Annex G. Click Submit. Kapag nasubmit na, makakatanggap ang kumpanya ng confirmation email sa nirehistrong email address. Sa puntong ito, maghintay lamang ng feedback mula sa SEC tungkol sa inyong submission.